How's it going guys? Welcome back. It's Keith. Just the um, event update on what I have going on on the bench right now and the final. The final of the Evo Mercedes E190. So let me just put that over there for you. Over there, a little bit more organised today, which is not now. Anyway, there yeah, you can see that well. We've finished with the um, E190 Evo, as you can see. Just went with the normal black leather, the um, some boys are spoiler you get for them. Um, as you can see, I've done a back wheel. I've done a back wheel poke on it. I put a, a longer bar to give it that much more poke, like a, a longer axle bar. Because I like them type of cars. Usually, do have a wide stance. The body is just not wide enough, and the the, the axle bar that came with this kit. The wheels wouldn't fit once I put on the updated parts for the rotors, the uh, the um, the brake rotors and brake discs that went on. So uh, yeah, I end up just putting on a longer axle from a set of axles and old wheels that I bought here a few about a couple of years back. But yeah, that's the final on it. Turned out alright, looks well. I think it does anyway. All I have to do is put the Mercedes badge that comes up out of the hood. The reason I haven't done it right now is because I, I still gonna polish the car. So I don't wanna break it off after I polish it, you know what I mean? When I polish it. So I am gonna polish it. It does look good now the way it is. Yeah, maybe it doesn't need a polish. But you don't get any registration decals. You get a red Mercedes badge, so maybe that is what I'll put right in the centre of the square registration that they give you, or they give you European registrations as well, front and back. That go with the shape of the bumper on the front the way it comes out on the V. But yeah, I went with the DTM wheels, the disc type wheels so that's the final on the E190 Mercedes I'll still stick the odd um, couple of decals on that of Mitsubishi Evo um, decals I'll put the evolution sign on all across the back of it and the Mercedes badge and name of one of my Mercedes kits also, update I have right now is the Ford Model T. It's in primer. So that's it in its primer stage. That's the Ford Model T truck. I, everything that I've done to it so far has been like prep. To make it look good when it's painted hopefully it, it turns out as good as I expect it to at the putting a lot of time into making sure there's no body lines that shouldn't be there and shape in the front it has its hood there as you can see clipped on and its engine is underneath so all that will be hand painted after the body is painted I'll take the wheels off and paint them the colour of the body of the car. Blue or red, depends really where I go with. Um, so yeah, that's the Ford Model T truck. Now that was the 1925 kit from Mike, the 2 on one So, I'd say I'll get four all together out of the one. The, the kit Mike sent me and the one Jeff sent me. 
So let's stand here. This is the Mustang Celine update. Um, Keith from uh, Butch BK Models is brother Keith. This is his appreciation bit or tribute build in his name. I went with a metallic silver. I hadn't got well. I had got silver there, but I'm gonna be honest. I was in India and we're setting up the air compressor that day, so I was as a look. I'm ready to paint. But I'm not dealing with mixing up paint and whatever else. So I used a metallic silver spray can that cost eight fifty, and it's only a small can, smaller, about the same size as it, Tamiya can, and it's only rust oleum. So it's um, metallic silver. I was going with a silver because of the car that I was copying um, out of that movie, as I told you, Hollywood homicide. Um, yeah, the vents and all that, they're cut out all the same right now. The front bone bones, the back bone bones, the front hood ones. So they all look good now that they're in paint. Um, that's the body. Then there's the chassis. That's the underneath of the chassis. And it has the um, barley exhaust system that comes with this kit so it comes with the sponsored like a real legit exhaust system that is out there the barley exhaust it even has it lifted them um, letters barley on the back catalytic converters but in the movie it has the pipes in the middle you don't get that choice for this and there's the front, it's going all black with a little bit of greyish silver. And then the engine, it's going to be silver with a few bit of wash here and there. And um, yeah, suspension silver, trans silver, subframe arms, silver fuel tank. And then the black body so the steering wheel and decals still have to go on to that and then the wheels and the glass and that should be that done anyway first of all I've done two successful prints of alloyed wheels so I picked two of the most like two of the main wheels I really wanted so firstly if you know of the um, Ken Block, the car rally driver, they call 1552 wheels. They're for rally cars, you can go on JDM drift cars, you can do them for that. But as you can see, they even have the vents and all in the wheels. It says 52 right in the centre. Um, I th the tyres that I have on these, right? Here's the second one. Oh, I just painted the spokes just to make his uh, or to let you guys see the detail because the lip is going to be silver on this wheel and the spokes are gold. So there is a set of walk wheels and there is a set of 1552. I've done two sets of 1552 and I did try to do two sets of them. Um, walk wheels but I had two miss fail prints on them because then walk wheels were be, uh, made without supports they were done without supports so luckily I only got one sinkhole on one and two fail prints two wheels like failed so the 1552 is unpainted there they are there now they're about 20 inch. Now Mike sent me these wheels a long time ago. These are for um, American Muscle Cars. I think that is the Crown Tears. I don't know if that's the real name of these wheels. You guys would know. They're an awesome set of wheels. But they go for, they'll be going on a Mustang or something. So I used the tyres that I only had. 
that would fit the wheels are printed which were off these so I'm gonna have to try buy a few sets of these Pegasus wheels if I want to use my 1552 wheels for my rally kits and that because um, the tires on this 1552 is off the bigger wheel off the back crown T that Mike sent me the bigger wheels are the rare ones obviously that one and that one and then the two front ones went on the walk wheels so um i don't know what size these wheels are the crown tees maybe mike if you're watching this and you see this you can let me know what size the back wheels are and size um the tours fit perfect on the back or on the 1552s and the front ones fit perfect now I, I won't have a problem in get using Tamiya tours on the 1552s or on the walk wheels it's the 1552 wheels with the bigger tyre it's going to be a problem for me to get tours so um, yeah just thought I'd show you the wheels that were successful after what nearly a year of the owning well a half a year of owning a 3d printer i'm only starting to get used to it now and even now that i'm i'm trying to print other wheels i don't know what i done right to make these ones work you know what i mean so um yeah it's a very confusing thing and it's, i don't know if it's to, got to do with the storage or what so they're the wheels that I am um, printed. I'm just lining them up here in two lines. I'll show you. I'll put a bit of light from my phone light on them or something. You'll see. I'll show you one of the sinkholes in um, one of the wheels that didn't fail, but had a sinkhole in the side of the rim where it was on the uh, work wheels. But it doesn't. Uh, you can't see it because the tire is going to be on it. So that it's still usable. Because the tyres on it. Milky Grub on the chair. So yeah. I have re I've cured them. I've washed them. I've done all that with them. And erm. Um, where is the one that's there? I'll take that over there. Just to show you. There was one a little bit worse. It was in the middle. Behind the spokes. And I have a tire on it, so um, where's my phone? Where's my phone? There. Right, just bear with me for a sec, guys. Right, so I hope you can see them wheels better now. Right, so that's the fail. See one of the starting to fail to see where it was just about to be see it coming apart splitting at the back yeah well in the middle of one of the ones with the tires on it it was separating just behind the spokes because the lip is big on the wheel and um, that's because they had no supports the 1552s had supports it put supports on them. Um, I had BBS wheels. They kept failing. I don't know what was wrong with them. But they kept failing anyway. There, there they are. Just the one I painted gold. The 1552 rally wheels. Um, that, that's the big tyre off the bigger wheel. In the set of wheels Mike sent me. That is the small wheel tyre off the... Um, set of wheels that Mike sent me so um yeah I just done the spokes and the rivets in the spokes gold because the lips are going to be um the chrome barrel is going to be um well the barrel is going to be chrome so yeah there are all the wheels and anyway I printed two two full sets of 1552s they're my favourite set of wheels they look great on every car um, I printed two full sets of them and I printed a full set and a half I think yeah <laughs> a 
full set and a half of successful prints of the walk wheels. So yeah, that's the wheels. That's that update, the final. Um, instead of starting on a new kit, when I only start modelling, I built this Evo. Now the wheels that are on it are not the wheels off it. There's a set of Enki wheels, white Enki wheels that come on it. Um, these are the spare set of wheels off a Honda S2000 kit. It's a Tamiya kit. You get two sets, you get these weds in bronze or gold, whatever you want to call it. So you can see, I didn't even do any underneath detail to the card. I was, what, I think it was my first or second model I ever put together. I didn't even paint the body red because it came molded in red. I put all the decals on it. Um, yeah, the Evo rally art in the back window and all. I have all the new kits that have all them decals and all so I won't have to take off the ones in the windows and anyway I'll probably take off the McRae and the the other name there and the, I'll leave the front window screen one and the back window one but um, I'm gonna rebuild this Evolution Lanza it's an Evo 7 Oh, yeah, it's an Evo 7. So, yeah, I'm going to build this Evo as a street car, a track car, basically. Not the car that it is now. The McRae um, Rally Art car. I'll build it as a, just a, a normal Evo track day car. You know, so, uh, yeah, yeah. It was never painted, so I'm st I'll just have to undo all the parts I put together, like all the rear lights. See where I left the white indicator mark and the red light then. Um, the English plates. So, yeah. I've had plenty of little aerials off other kits as well that I could just reuse like or use out of the parts box. I'm gonna take all the rally art stuff off the side front. Then wed wheels are gonna go on one of the smaller cars. Probably on one of the K cars or something. But um yeah, I'm not gonna start a new car until I do this even. Then again, I don't know on my pro because I'm thinking about doing one of my 116 scale. I've been taking apart a lot of my old kits, that, a lot of my old builds that I done when I was only learning. This was a replica I built of the Black Limited. Because at the time, I couldn't get the Black Limited um, AE86. But this one was engineless, the kit. Now I cut out the hole because I was going to put an engine in it. Now I had the black limited black limited kit. And I done a swap. Me and Seamus done a swap. Because uh, they had it a few times in my local. So I just have to wait for the legit black limited with the engine to come back into stock. In my local. And I'm going to get that exact kit. And I'm actually going to get two of them because I'm going to use the engine out, the 4 AGE engine out of it for the wide bodied um, AE86 kit that I have. Or I could use the other Black Limited kit, what, the second one that I'm going to get with the one, like the other way, I just said I'm going to get the Black Limited when it comes back in. Well, I'm going to get two. So I could use one and build the AE86 from the initial D. And then use one for the black limited card that it is. Build it from its box. But um, yeah. Then walk wheels look good. With the tires on it. Against the body. As you can see there. Not a bad looking wheel. Proper JDM wheel. Like a bit of dish on. That's the front wheel. So they will look good on the cars. 
how I've kept the two STLs files on my 3D printer. I've kept them on the USB stick. I've been trying to put others on. Now, I've been getting the name of the files that I'm creating onto the stick, but the model itself that I'm trying to print, like the wheel or the Venom uh, from Spider Man, I had him half printed, but he failed. So I threw him in the bin. Um, it was because it didn't put support on his tongue. He has like a lizard tongue in the print. I was picking um, the print, like the three D two print. So uh, yeah, that ended up failing. So I says I'll put support on the next one. But I deleted the file off that I had, and I don't know how or what I was doing right to get the files onto my USB stick. But um, everything I'm trying since yesterday hasn't been, nothing has been going on. And I, the only two files that keep popping up are these two, these two, st and the Rook, the um, free test print. That they give you with the machine. So um, yeah, I'm not touch on trying to not touch these because I know these are nice wheels. They're good wheels. The two sets. They're actually two sets of good wheels, and um, I don't want to delete the foil if it's working. You know, don't don't fix it if it's not broken. You know what I mean? That saying, but I um. I need to sort out how to get the foot the pr the new print. I need to just get the hang and know exactly what to do to make the file go on from the computer. I'm exporting it onto the USB thumb drive, and the name of the the profile when I rename it and all all that goes onto the thumb drive and comes up on the 3D printer. But it's just not showing a picture of the model and the model doesn't print. So, yeah, that's my problem. That's what I've been having the last few days. But anyway, yeah, that's my updates, lads. Um, the Porsche for the cancer awareness as well. I haven't got much to do on that, as you know. I put the front window and all back in. With proper cement, it fitted better this time because I sanded it all down. That's why it was it fell out. Because I was using the clear glue. The the white PVC glue to put it in, but I end up using the proper to make uh, tin glue to get it in after I sanded it down. So yeah, the Porsche just needs its headlight lenses put in. If I'm going to put the spotlights on or not, I'm going to put the decal on the side of the door with the number and on the roof. Um, everything else is done. I just have to put the handles on and then I can call that a, a final. I'll give her a little dust off and a little shine with the air and compound. And that'll be that one done then. So, yeah. Let me know what you think about the Evo, like stripping it completely of all the decals and just um, rebuilding it. It saves me having to build any of the other Evos I have. I don't think I have another Evo 7 brand new. I know of an e I have Evo 3, an Evo 4, 5. I have an Evo 6, I have no Evo 7. I, mean, I think, yeah, I have an Evo 8. I don't know about annoying I have an Evo X10 couple of them so yeah that's where I am now anyway lads that's where the bench update I'm making the video for the guys that jumped in on my uh, GT group build and finished that builds I am uh, putting the video together as a slideshow of all the screenshots I took of all these builds and yes I'm gonna um, be all either you can send in the comments who was involved i'd like to hear from you 
put it in the comments whether you want me to do a random generator or get the, the number, use a name or number picked out of a hat by my daughter or my parent or like whatever I want. Either pick it out of a hat or a random generator with a number, a name on a list attached to it. The two surprises are going to be so first place we'll get first choice. So um, I have that, and I just stand up, the Tamiya MX-5 Roadster, Yunos Roadster, great little kit, no engine, but um, looks good when it's done, there's a hard top in the kit, it's clear, you can paint it any colour, you can do the body the colour you want and do the hard top another colour if you wanted like say the car the way it is blue and put white wheels with a white top or black wheels or a black top it's up to yourself it's a hard top that's in it so there's this kit the MX-5 Unops Roadster and another Tamiya kit which has engine detail the Porsche Tamiya 959 which is also one of the prizes so first there's going to be two names picked or random generated whatever you tell me to do the most votes I get for either pick a name out of a hat or do a random generator that's what's going to be done then and whoever is picked first they can pick the, either the Porsche or the MX-5 so it's up to you guys and whoever's picked second obviously gets the second kit, the one that's left. So that's it for today lads, thanks for tuning in, I hope you have a good day, stay safe and yeah, key too, have a good one lads, stay tuned, bye bye.